As those trees mature, they will cast a shadow over the ground, preventing us from cultivating a number of our beloved plants. When it comes to light, many plants require more than what we can provide in our gardens. Thankfully, there are other options, particularly for shade-loving plants. Remember that although some shrubs can withstand nearly complete shadow, others require what is commonly referred to as brilliant or high shade, which simply means dappled light or morning sun. Our favorite shade shrubs are these. Number one, oak leaf hydrangea. This native hydrangea is the best shrub for those who want minimal maintenance. Its white blossoms develop a hint of pink as they age, and its verdant summer leaves transform into breathtaking fall colors. If you live in a hot area, these shrubs will do best in partial shade during the afternoon or full shade in the morning. They thrive on soils that are rich in organic matter, have adequate drainage, and are slightly acidic. Water them regularly throughout the first year following planting. They do well in zones five to nine. Number two, rhododendron. Plants that can withstand partial shade or roadies are hardy in hardiness zones five to nine. Another wonderful option for shady areas are azaleas, which are related to rhododendrons. Both thrive in somewhat shaded areas with acidic soil and chilly, wet summers. You shouldn't put either of these plants under trees with shallow roots since they will fight for nutrients and water. They thrive with deep, frequent waterings, but do best in well-drained soil. Number three. Virginia Sweet Spire. Growing three to four feet tall and four to six feet wide, this deciduous shrub is hardy in zones five to nine. Fragrant, little white blossoms atop swaying stems emerge throughout the months of May and June. Planting Sweet Spire in a rain garden is a breeze because this plant is hardy and can withstand a wide range of growing conditions, such as full shade, clay soils, and damp soils. Although they may tolerate some shade, they will also thrive in full sun. Number four, Camellia. The tiny leaves and adaptability to container and landscape bed life make this Sasanqua Camellia a popular choice. Fall adorns this stunning specimen with pink blossoms that can reach a diameter of three inches. Plant it in an acidic soil in a partially shaded to fully sunny area. You should realize that Sansanqua camellias are quite receptive to shearing and pruning. The ideal time is just after spring blooms end and before summer's fresh flower buds appear on stems. Number five, service berry. In spite of poor soil conditions and heavy shade, native, Low-maintenance service berries will flourish practically everywhere. Start with spring with white flowers, then summer with edible berries, and fall with foliage that is orange, crimson, and gold. In general, the more sunshine they get, the more berries they will yield. Service berries are deciduous trees that, if unpruned, can reach a height of 10 to 25 feet and transform into small trees. Number six, Japanese Pieris. The Japanese Pieris is a tall evergreen shrub with wide leaves that does best in full sun or light shade throughout the afternoon. It can reach a height of four to eight feet. Plants thrive on soils that are acidic, rich, moist, and well-drained. They can also tolerate temperatures ranging from five to eight. White blossoms with an unusual inverted vase shape appear in the spring. Having said that, be aware that the nectar and leaves of these flowers are exceedingly toxic. These plants should not be touched by children or pets. Number seven, Hydrangea macrophylla. Dear Dolores Hydrangea can add a burst of color to the shady area of your yard. All season long, this big leaf hydrangea often known as a Moffett hydrangea, 
opens 8-inch flower heads. To achieve desired form, prune after flowers have bloomed or in the early spring. This plant is hardy in zones 5 through 9. Number 8. Bottle Brush Buckeye. These deciduous plants, which initially originated in the American South, put on a spectacular summer display. It is at this time that the bloom's showy white petals, which are adorned with scarlet anthers, begin to open. The plants require very little attention and are hence ideal for use in borders or other naturally occurring settings. Hardy in zones four to eight, these trees reach maturity at eight to 12 feet in height at 8 to 15 feet in width. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.